just a few weeks after the draft, and it looks like the Lakers made the right decision. No, I'm not talking about Bronny James, even though the kid played well in the last few summer league games. Really good. Felt really good. Yeah. I'm talking about Dalton Connect, a wing who's had one of the most torturous paths an NBA player's ever had. You know, like I said earlier, my journey's been different. And, and who's now the new and hopeful piece of one of the most iconic franchises in the history of the league. But beyond his history, what can Connect offer the Lakers? That's precisely what we're going to answer in this video. Dalton's a tall guard with a very special skill set. And yes, his ceiling at 23 years old may not be as high as other players in the draft who've made the jump into pro basketball much earlier, but his floor is incredibly high. So let's talk about this. It was funny. While Dalton was growing up in Colorado after being born in North Dakota, no one took his basketball aspirations very seriously. I mean, he was a very good player in high school, but as a sophomore, he was only 5 foot 8 inches tall. Not a promising height for an NBA prospect. However, during his junior year, he experienced a huge growth spurt. He went from 5 foot 8 to 6 foot 1, and from 6 foot 1, he jumped to 6 foot 3 during his senior year, a year in which he also stood out on the court, averaging 21 points and 6.5 rebounds per game at Prairie View High School. But unfortunately, his growth spurt came too late. Despite his impressive senior year numbers, Connect hadn't made it onto the radar of any Division I college. Coming out of high school, I had zero D1 offers. I was 6'3", 170, still kind of growing into my body a little bit. Dalton Connect in 2019. So Connect had to take an alternate route, a route that usually isn't closely associated with success. We're talking about junior college. I mean, it's not like it's impossible, there are precedents, they do exist, but in the modern NBA, there are only four players who had to take this route to get to the best league in the world. Chris Boucher, Rashawn Holmes, Jay Crowder, and Jimmy Butler. Now, that was motivation enough for Dalton, who went to JUCO, to show the world. His freshman year wasn't spectacular, rather it could be considered within expectations. Connect averaged 13.3 points, 2.9 rebounds, and 1.1 assists per game on good efficiency, but that season he grew once again beyond anyone's expectations. During his sophomore year at JUCO playing for Northeastern Junior College, Connect grew to a height of 6 foot 6 inches. But even more importantly, the wing averaged 23.9 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. This time, he really caught the attention of D1 scouts, although he was two years late. Thus, Connect arrived at Northern Colorado College in Division I. In addition, he would be during his first year there, which was considered to be his junior year, a starter. But his performance at the beginning wasn't too striking. He had problems with his efficiency and he was very inconsistent. For that reason, Coach Steve Smiley decided to start using him from the bench. And Dalton finished that season with averages of 8.9 points, 3.6 rebounds per night, with a weak 43% shooting from the field a performance that had practically shattered his NBA dreams. But Connect didn't give up. His senior season was stellar. Not only did he double his averages all over the stat sheet, but he also became the best player on the entire team. In the 2022-2023 season, Dalton averaged 20.2 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 1.8 assists on an excellent 48% shooting from the field. He was an efficient and consistent guard, but the Northern Colorado Bears were far from competitive. So Connect decided to transfer to Tennessee to enjoy his second senior season, an opportunity he had thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, which allowed him to enjoy a fifth year in college. At Tennessee, Dalton exceeded all expectations. He increased his scoring average even more in a much more competitive conference than the Big Sky, such as the SEC. In addition, he hit 40% three-pointers all season long. And for that reason, he began to enter the radar of professional basketball scouts. And not just for a future in overseas basketball either. Some NBA GMs seemed very interested in a prospect who was older than the rest, but who had something special. It would end up being the LA Lakers who would bet on him just a few weeks ago. Dalton Connect from the University of Tennessee. And Dalton Connect, after being drafted in the 17th position of the 2024 draft, became the only rookie of the purple and gold besides Bronny James a situation that would put all eyes on him due to the fact that he belongs to one of the biggest and most attended markets in the country, and a situation that, of course, would allow him to play with LeBron James, who for many is the greatest player of all time. With this journeyed background, Dalton comes to the Lakers to immediately crack into the team's rotation, and that's precisely what he's shown in the Summer League. 
It's true that in the three games he played in California, his performance wasn't too encouraging, averaging 14.7 points per game with 30% shooting from the field and 27% in three-pointers. But in the three games he played in Vegas, Connect has shown why he has the opportunity to be one of the most impactful rookies in the league. With his adjustment process behind him, Dalton's averaged 21.3 points on 42% shooting efficiency from the field and 39% from three-point range. He's proven to be ready. But beyond being a good scorer, what makes Connect special? The most interesting thing is that he looks like a plug-and-play player. He doesn't need to have the ball in his hands to produce and will know how to find good looks off the ball, something that on a team with multiple playmakers can be vital to improve the chemistry of a group that desperately needs new pieces and fresh blood. He's a good three-point shooter in high volume, having averaged nearly seven three-pointers per game in his last season at Tennessee. In addition, he has the ability to play multiple positions on the court, from shooting guard to perhaps a modern stretch power forward. Now, the Lakers had high expectations in free agency, so much so that LeBron said he was going to take a pay cut if Palinka could find the right pieces. However, the sad reality is that they haven't acquired anyone of significance. The Lakers have exactly the same core as last year, and virtually their rotation will look exactly the same, except for Dalton. His competition for the job won't be easy, with players like Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura, Max Christie, Cam Reddish, Jared Vanderbilt, and of course LeBron James ahead of him, but if anything, Connect will get the minutes he needs to show what he's capable of. And I have no doubt that because of his talent, he has the ability to become one of the most important pieces on the Lakers bench almost from the start. Because really, the only reason Dalton fell to the 17th position besides his age was his defense. Despite having somewhat underrated athleticism, Connect is far from an athletic prodigy. And that in the modern NBA is an important factor. Players not only have to be able to contain players their size, but they also have to be versatile enough to cover bigger or smaller players. If you're not capable, the offense is going to try and pick you off on every possession. That's left a lot of players with great offensive potential out of the league. On the other hand, his ability to create plays for his teammates, despite being considered a guard, leaves something to be desired. Connect is far from a playmaker. He's simply not that type of player. But on a team that already has one of the best playmakers in basketball history, well, this should be a problem, right? If there's one thing we know, it's that this is a draft where many prospects need time to mature and adapt to the pace of the league. But that shouldn't be the case with Dalton. So this factor, along with the fact that he's gone to one of the teams destined to be in the playoff mix come next April, have caused fans to have high expectations from the rookie year. Now, for a player like him who has to earn every minute of glory he's going to get on the Lakers, this challenge should be nothing more than another bump in the road. Another test of destiny to see if this scoring wing from North Dakota is ready for a role that even many veterans have been unable to take on. Now, we just have to wait a few weeks to see him try.